Dollar Tree among the retailers reporting earnings tomorrow. I'm joined by Jerome Martis, who is Director of Consumer Research at Thomson Reuters. Jerome, is Dollar Tree still a bit of a darling? Yes, in fact, it's still on top. And when you look at the discounters, they recently just finished the acquisition of Family Dollar, and both of them target different income level groups. So as a result, now they're going to be able to reach a wider audience. You know, they still have some integration work to do um, to change the, the facelift, the stores, and integrate all of the logos. But management is still very optimistic that they're going to reach um, healthy numbers by the end of the year. Do their numbers look good for this quarter? Yes, they're expected to post a 2.2 same store sale, which is the strongest in the discount group. And how about Walmart? That's also out. Well, Walmart is interesting because earnings have been down. Earnings growth rate have been down around 15 to 20 percent over the last two years. And that's going to still stay the same at least for this quarter and the next couple of quarters. They've been facing more online competition. Sales have decelerated. And on top of that, they've been investing a lot of money in technology and labor. Um, so as you can see, it's very difficult for Walmart to compete. However, they still have two areas um, of optimism, which is grocery stores are still the strength for Walmart. And also the fact that if they do market their online presence better, they might be able to reach a wider audience that they haven't tapped into yet. And they're bringing the greeters back, which is interesting yes, on the labor side. So absolutely. I guess they're trying to tackle it on, on both angles, exactly. online and in the store. Customer service. So Gap also is out. We already know Gap is not going to be good. We heard from the company already, and there's just trouble in many parts of Gap, Banana, Gap? Absolutely. So Gap's earnings and revenues are expected to be in the negative territory and, are, and there's no clear indication when this will actually be recuperate, which is a problem. The Banana uh, Republic merchandise for spring did poorly. Old Navy used to be Gap's strong division, but, in, but when they lost their CEO, then we started seeing that their sales started to decelerate, and also now they're sitting on massive amounts of inventory. As a result, Starmine is saying that not only are they going to post negative earnings, but it's very likely that they might miss um, earnings estimates and post a very negative surprise. I mean, what do the analysts say that this company has to do at this point? Well, it, first off, they are a mall retailer, so they are suffering from weak traffic. On top of that, the merchandise is not resonating well. So yeah. they will have to change the merchandise and go away from their basics, which is their core um, offering, to see if that will resonate better with customers because they've, done, they've really lost their core consumer. Um, so they have to regain that back. It's going to be a tough report. Jerome Martis, great to see you. Thank you. I'm Rhonda Schapler for The Street.